Pongal is a Thanksgiving festival on the Tamil calendar and it marks the beginning of the sun's apparent movement northwards during the northern hemisphere spring. It's also linked to the first harvest of the year and special dishes are prepared for the festivities, which inspired Badehi to prepare a special vegan menu. The Tamil word Pongal can refer to a festivity or celebration in general but its more specific meaning is boiling over or overflow. It's a harvest festival and the first rice of the season is prepared in boiling milk and consecrated to Surya Mangalyam, the deity associated with the sun. Pongal is one of the most important festivals in the Tamil calendar and it marks the sun's six month journey to the north. It's also known as the harvest festival, which means some great veggie food, which Badehi is gonna show us today. Dehi, how are you? Hey, Kriya, how are you doing? Good in yourself. It looks like you're all ready to go. I'm ready for the feast. <laughs> so what are we going to start with? Kriya, today we're making beet bites. Okay. So beet bites is actually beetroot bites. Okay, so obviously we need beetroot. What I've done is I've actually just cut them, I julien them up, and then I've just put them in a food processor and I've blitzed them. We're going to make our flaxseed egg. So we have one tablespoon of flaxseed powder, three tablespoons of water, so we give it a bit of a stir or something. Yes, nice yeah. stir. And that will get nice and thick as you'll see just now. Now turn on our stove. Beetroot has got a lot of water. So what we're doing here, we're actually going to dry out the beetroot. You can add a drop of oil, but if you're looking for a very healthy option, I would suggest that you just go oil free. And then we're going to get our beetroot. Can I just have that spoon? Let right. me help you out. Right. So we're going to fry this for about, say, about five minutes so that we can just get all that water out of this beetroot. So while that's happening, I am going to pop in our chickpeas and I'm just going to mash them down. And this is how we're going to do that. Mm, it seems like we're getting there. So now we're going to pop in our onions. We're just cooking this a little bit because we don't want that raw onion taste in our food. Prayer, now that the onions are cooked, we're going to be adding them to our chickpea. We're just going to toss it in. We can give this a nice, good stir. So Kriya, we're going to be adding in our spices. This is just plain chili powder, cumin powder. And then we have some mixed masala. We can just add a half of a teaspoon of turmeric powder, some salt. We're going to give this a nice, good stir. The aromas are amazing. Now we're going to add our gluten-free oats. I ground them up. Another good stir. And now, our flaxseed powder. You can just, oh wow, look at that. That is what we're looking for. So do I just throw yeah, it in? Just throw it in. Okay, Kriya, I'm just gonna get my hands into this now. So Kriya, while I'm busy with this, don't you just wanna chop up some chili for me? I can give it a go. And again, if you want it nice and hot, you can add more chili. If you want to reduce the heat, you can just add maybe one or even half, or just remove the seeds from them. We're going to pop in our garlic and ginger. So while I'm stirring this, don't you just want to chop up some coriander for me, please? Not a problem. OK, that's perfect. Now that we're using our hands, remember, we need to wash our hands. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> so Kriya, this is the texture that we're looking for. When we press them together, it holds. I have a little trick that keeps them all the same size. Oh, that's clever. I use my fingers. So we'll get about, say, 10 to 12, depending on your sizes. Can I say, and this is the final one. We're going to heat our pan. We're going to add a drop of oil. We're going to add our beet bites. And we can fry them, say, between the five minutes on mm -hmm. each side. So these are looking good. We're just going to flip them over now. Kriya, can you see it's nice and dry and crispy on both Ooh, sides? Now we're going to pop them over and plate them. And now we're going over to our brinjal, which we've pre-sliced. We're going to pop them into the pan. And as you notice, no oil. There we go. We're just looking for them to be nice and golden brown. This is exactly what we want. And we're ready for plating. Let's pop them over here. Okay, and that's the final one. We're going to add a bit of lettuce to this, just to bring in a bit of colour. So Kriya, have you noticed they're not falling apart? And that is because our oats and our flax, yes. The perfect bead bites. Okay, and our final one. Now we're going to add some vegan mayonnaise. That's right, we add a nice big dollop. And finally, we're just gonna add a bit of micro herbs for that final garnish. Well, this looks absolutely amazing. I think I'm gonna give it a taste. Oh, please go ahead. 
And the vegan mayonnaise has got quite an interesting taste. It's creamy, but a great alternative to a cream. And it's a jerry free as well. So what's next on the menu for today? Our vegan sushi with rasam. So why did you decide to do a sushi today? Because it's not a traditional pongal recipe. I always believe in cross-cultural fusion and this works perfectly well. Oh, shall we get started? Yes, we can. Can we just turn on the heat? Got it. We're going to start off by adding some black peppercorns. These are your coriander seeds. Some cumin seeds. This is fenugreek seeds, also known as meaty seeds. Mm -hmm. So we need just a pinch, some red chili. And again, we can add a little more chili if you want it very hot. This is tur dal, and this is what's gonna thicken our rasam. We're just gonna roast this, give it a nice spin so we can get a nice roast. We don't wanna burn it. We can turn off the heat, and we're ready to grind. So we're gonna grind until we don't hear that sound. Oh, okay. Okay, this is perfect. So what we're gonna do, we just swap over the pan. We're gonna add in our oil. Toss in our onions. We're gonna give this a bit of a stir and we're just gonna cook it down a bit. That's really looking good now. We're gonna add in our garlic. And we're just gonna fry this for a bit. Now we're gonna toss in our tomatoes. Give this a nice, good stir. And then we're going to add in our salt. And now I'm going to add in to start the show. And while I'm doing this, please just stir this because we don't want you to get lumpy. The tamarind extract. And now I'm just going to add in some extra water. That's perfect. Can you see how it's starting to thicken up? Mm -hmm. So we're just going to cover that up and we're going to get rolling with the sushi. Perfect. Let's move on. Right, so Kriya, we have some sushi rice, which I've pre-cooked, and we're just going to cut this avocado now. Okay, we're just going to peel this. Let me help you with this one as well. We're just finely slicing this into nice thin pieces. Okay, that's perfect, so let's get the sushi rolling. We're going to start with our rice. The rice is very sticky, so that's why we just need to dip our fingers in this water and just pat the rice gently down onto the seaweed. Now we're going to layer our vegetable. We're going to start with the avo. I think it gives a nice, beautiful colour when we roll it up. I think we can go with some red cabbage because we want the contrast of colour to bring out the essence of the rangoli. Let's go for the carrots. Now we're going to go with some green peppers just to contrast that colour. We're adding our red peppers, just so that we can have that nice, colourful colours that we're looking for, like the rongoli. And finally, our cucumbers. All right, Kriya, so we're going to get wrapping and rolling. We want to get a nice, tight grip on this. Then we're going to use our mat and roll this up like a Swiss roll. So here we go, our perfect sushi, the traditional one. And for the next one, I'm going to do it a little different with the rice on top of the nori sheets. We're going to take our rice and we're going to pat it onto our nori sheet. And don't forget to wet your fingertips because you don't want the rice to stick to your fingers. We're going to flip this one over. There we go. Now we're laying with the avocado. Okay, the next layer would be your red cabbage because we want that nice contrasting colours. Then that beautiful, vibrant orange carrots, followed by some green peppers. We'll do some red peppers. And lastly, some cucumber. Now, for this, we're going to try to roll this up very nicely into a perfect sushi roll. And we're just going to add a bit of pressure to seal this in. And finally, we're going to add some sesame seeds. Just roll it over. And there we go. How pretty does that look? That looks absolutely amazing. What we're going to do is we need to wet our knife so that the rice does not stick to it. And we can get a nice, perfect slice. And then that half, we're going to start in the centre of that. Look how beautiful this is. Look. That looks absolutely amazing. The perfect colours of Rangoli. Now we're going to plate this. Let's start up here. And our final one. There we go. Look how gorgeous does this look. Definitely what we wanted. So this one we need to be a little more careful because we've got the rice on the outside. It's a lot more sticky. Right, put that here. For each slice, we're going to wet our knife for this to the centre. We're cutting that in half. 
with our knife. We're cutting the half in half again with the knife again, the other half. Kriya, look at this. This is totally different from the first one. Okay, Kriya, so now we're gonna temper our rasam. We're just gonna remove this lid from the pot. We're gonna add the oil. We're gonna toss in some mustard seeds. We're gonna add our curry leaves. Perfect, can you hear the splattering? That's exactly what we're looking for. And now we have our hen. Now we're gonna pop this into our rasam. Now I'm gonna take this well and we're gonna pour it into our bowl and try not to splatter. And we're gonna finally garnish with some coriander leaves. And there we go. Wow, the spread looks absolutely amazing. Please, tuck in. Mm -hmm. It's like a rice pulley curry explosion. That's exactly what I was going for. The cross-cultural fusion where we have the Japanese, the South Indian flavors coming through. Well, I must say, thank you so much for spending the day with me and teaching me such easy, simple recipes and they're all vegan and vegetarian friendly. Yes. And I wish you all the best for Pongo. Thank you so much. It was lovely cooking with you. I'm gonna eat more. Please mm -hmm. go ahead. <laughs>